In this problem, we're told a baseball is hit so that it travels straight upward after being struck by the bat. The fan observes that it takes three seconds for the ball to reach its maximum height. Find A, the ball's initial velocity, and B, the height it reaches. So we have this bat, right? So here's our bat, and it's gonna be hitting this ball straight upwards, right? So this ball's gonna go straight upwards, right? With some velocity we don't know. So I'm just gonna say V sub zero equals question mark. And we know it's gonna travel upwards till it reaches some maximum height. So we'll just call this max, and then it's gonna fall back down, right? And so we know the time it's going to take to reach its maximum height from where it starts to where it ends is going to take three seconds. So this whole thing is going to take three seconds. Okay. So this is basically what we're given. And what we're going to want to go ahead and do is uh, solve for two different things, right? So they want us to find the ball's initial velocity or V sub zero. And they also want us to find the height it reaches. So essentially we've got to solve for this whole distance here. So we can call that delta Y or the change in the Y. Right, because the change in the y is just going to be how high it goes. Right? And so what are we given? So we're given t, the time of this interval, which is going to be 3 seconds. Right? Because we know it's going to take 3 seconds uh, for it to reach this height. What else are we given? We're given, uh, well, we're not given it, but we know a in this problem is going to be minus 9.8 uh, meters per second squared. Right? Because it's just going to be the force, the acceleration due to gravity. That's the only uh, acceleration on this. Right? So that's the acceleration. And then what else do we know? So we actually do know V, right? So we know the final velocity or the velocity at the max height. And we know it's going to be equal to zero. And so the reason we know it's zero is because when something's at its max height, its uh, velocity is zero. Because you can imagine at this point, it's basically stuck in place. It's not going up or down, right? Because it's just, it's at the top. So it's going to be traveling zero meters per second. So this is what we're given. And what we're going to want to go ahead and do is solve for both of these. So the first thing we want to do is start with A. So A is V sub zero, right? The ball's initial velocity. So we want to find, or find V sub zero. So if we look at these equations, notice how all of these contain a delta, like a position or a distance, right? These say delta x, but it works in the same way. Delta x is the same as delta y. So two, two through four, right? These three we can't use because we don't know this, but we can use this one. So v equals v sub zero plus a times t, right? These are uh, the kinematic equations. And so notice how we have v, we have v sub zero, and we have a, right? And what we're trying to do is solve for or sorry, we don't have V sub zero. That's what we're trying to find. We have V and we have A and we have T. So we just got to plug in. So V, which is zero, is equal to V sub zero plus A, which is minus 9.8 times T. And so T in this case is just going to be three. So if we move this to the other side, plus 9.8 or minus, sorry, minus 9.8, or we add it to the other side to cancel, sorry, plus 9.8 times three. So V sub zero is equal to 9.8 times three and so when you do this, you're going to get 29.4. So 29.4, and then we measure it in meters per second. So meters over seconds, that's going to be V sub zero. So we just solve for the initial velocity. So this is your answer to A. Now let's do B. So keep in mind, we just solve for V sub zero. And now we want to solve for delta Y. So we're solving for delta Y. We can use any of these kinematic equations except for the first one, right? Because it doesn't contain delta Y, so we can't solve for it. And so the one I'm going to choose is this one right here. V squared equals V sub zero squared or v squared equals v sub zero squared plus 2a times delta y, right? So we have all the variables. We have v, we have v sub zero now, we have a, and we're solving for delta y, right? The change in the height, because the change in the height is just going to be the max height. So v is zero, so zero squared is just zero, equals v sub zero squared, which is 29.4 squared, plus 2 times a, which is minus 9.8, times delta y, right? And you know it's negative because a is negative because it's traveling or it's slowing it down right it's pulling it downwards so what we want to do is minus 29.4 squared to the other side right so do that on the other side you'll get minus 29.4 squared equals 2 times minus 9.8 is minus 19.6 times delta y so we want to get delta y just divide by minus 19.6 and then if you just plug this in your calculator so minus or 24.9 or 29.4 squared minus that, and then divide by minus 19.6. So when you do this, you're going to get 44.1. So delta y equals 44.1 meters. So the change in y from here is going to be uh, 44.1 meters, right? And so if it changes that much, right, till it reaches its max, then this is just going to be its max height. So 44.1 meters, that's going to be the maximum height, right? So max height. Right, so this right here is going to be your answer to B. This was your answer to A. And so, yeah, hopefully you found this useful.